Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image here. I wanted to talk to you today about how to make your Canon 550D or your Canon 60D, the photos or video output, look like they came out of a 5D Mark II. I know you're saying, how the heck do I do that? Well, there's three ways to do that. So I'm going to break this down into a three-part series. And uh, basically, the first one we're going to talk about is lighting. Part one. Part one, lighting. Uh, so basically, for photos, we've always it's always been a, a caveat in photography. It's always been a, like a founding principle is lighting is everything in photography. If you can get your lighting right in photography, if you can make your lighting look perfect, you can squeeze every little ounce of goodness out of the sensor or out of the film that you're using and you can make your image just shine. You can just rock your image. And it's no different with video. If you learn how to light your video productions properly, if you take advantage of outdoor lighting at its peak, so you're using, for instance, good early morning lighting or just that perfect, beautiful evening lighting before the sunset, if you're working indoors and you have enough lighting, you're not trying to squeeze not trying to push your sensor to its its maximum performance by making it work in really dim lighting and it's just on the edge of acceptable for being too grainy. Um, if you add extra lighting, if you learn how to use supplementary lighting, it's the same with photography as it is with video. If you bring in the lights, if you learn how to use lighting outdoors, if you learn how to diffuse your light, if you learn how to take away light, if you learn snoots, gobos, all the types of different things, reflectors, um, diffusers, everything you can use to control your lighting. Sometimes it's not how you, what, what you've lit, it's what you haven't lit that makes an interest, uh, image interesting. Um, so basically, the biggest thing you can do to bring up the quality of your video is not to upgrade your camera, and it's not to go out and buy super expensive lenses, although good lenses do help, but it's to master your lighting first. You can do a lot with dirt cheap lighting. You go to Home Depot, you buy some shop lights, fluorescent shop lights, the four foot tube uh, type. You can get those for between 10 and 20 bucks. You can get a couple of tubes for them for about five bucks. So for less than $50, you can get two uh, shop lights each running a, a four foot fluorescent tube and you'd be amazed at what you can do just with those two you can hang them vertically on either side out of the frame of your subject you can light them they almost give you a fashion look effect if you arrange them properly um, you can hang them horizontally from the ceiling and up from the bottom there's all sorts of ways you can do that um, I covered in the green screen tutorial on how to light it that two of those with some cooler bulbs make a really nice lit green screen um, you can use CFL bulbs, the little squirrely compact fluorescent bulbs. You put them in even like a cheap gooseneck light and a few of those aimed properly. You can build your own uh, barn doors for those. You can build your own grid spots. There's lots of do-it-yourself ways to do that. See, it doesn't have to be expensive, but you got to learn how to do it. You got to master your lighting in order to squeeze every little bit of uh, resolution, every little bit of image quality out of your camera sensor. So basically, if you do that, if you take the time to master your lighting, to figure out what works, what doesn't work, to learn from the masters, those are the best at it, um, you will see that uh, you can get a lot of difference in quality out of your camera sensor. You can have somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, they shoot something with a 550D and it looks really junky. You can have somebody that knows what they're doing and it looks absolutely phenomenal what they can produce with a 550D or a Canon 60D and you'd swear it was shot with a Canon 5D Mark II. Conversely, you can have somebody that doesn't know what they're doing shooting with a Canon 5D Mark II and it's going to look like absolute trash. You give somebody the same or another person that really knows what they're doing a 550D or a 60D and they light things perfectly, they take the time to set everything up, they make sure their white balance is bang on, they've color corrected, they've done a lot before the shot rather than saying, oh, I'll fix it in post. And all of a sudden their images are just singing or their video is just mind blowing. And a lot of it is lighting. Lighting is just paramount and people underestimate that a lot. They think, oh, I've, got, I've bought a good camera. I bought a good lens. I should be able to, you know, do everything now. You know, I've even had people write in and say, oh, my camera sucks. And you know, the, the blunt reply to that is no, 
you suck. You have to learn how to use it. It's like any tool, you know, you can't expect it to think for you as smart as these cameras are getting and whatnot. The guys that are the best know how to use them like crazy and they know um, not even so much right in depth on the camera. They know the techniques of lighting on how to do the light perfectly. You look at some of the masters of who's uh, doing video. Look at uh, the way they've shot it. Look at the lighting. Look at what they've lit. What Look at what they haven't lit. This is going to be the way that you can, the single biggest way that you can bring up the quality of your photos and your video from your 550D or your 60D. And if you, if you learn to master your lighting, you'll be able to make stuff out of those cameras that is virtually indistinguishable from a Canon 5D Mark II. So take the time to do that. Look online, read all the free stuff you can get. Look at the do-it-yourself sites. You don't have to spend a ton of money. And um, to get started anyways, you can spend whatever you want, but it is, doesn't have to be expensive. And, um, and learn, master your lighting and go from there. So um, this is part one of a three-part series. The uh, next part, we're gonna discuss the second way, the second biggest way to uh, enhance the quality of your photos and your images and your video out of your 550D or your 60D so that they can make them virtually indistinguishable from a 5D Mark II. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned to The Art of the Image. We'll be back soon with part two of this series. Thanks.